The international break that screwed us over in the CONCACAF Central American Cup is over and we are back to full strength, kind of. More on that in just a little bit. We do have shots of redemption, though. A semifinal coming up in the Costa Rica Cup. And we've got Herediano, a team we should be able to beat in the Continental Places Playoff. And welcome back, everyone, to episode number 53 of the American Dream. I'm Mr. Cellophane. If you've enjoyed the series so far, make sure you hit like and subscribe, please, and thank you. I said sort of because in training leading up to the semi-final of the Costa Rica Cup against Liberia. Freddy Gonzalez picked up an injury, twisted an ankle. He's gone for the next two to four weeks, but we should have him back in time for the Herediano matches. So we should be fine as we take on Liberia. Now a chance if we get through this match to meet up with Herediano yet again. They are also facing off against Punta Arenas. I promised you a triple header. Let's get right to it. Like I said, we are still relatively back at full strength. David Hernandez going to get the start in goal. Mohamed Conte, he's cup-tied and unavailable for this one. Our back four is going to be Mora, Innocente, Duarte, and Hugo Cordero. Aquista and Braun are going to man the midfield. Ramirez is going to take over at the number 10. Our wings will be Vitan Tusha and Willem Getz and Esteban Cordero. He's going to be our striker for this match. We have been playing well this season, but as I am fully aware in the live commentary matches, yeah, not so much. It's been a couple of episodes since we have won when I've shown you the whole shebang. Let's see if we can break that trend against Liberia. We are at home for this cup semifinal, and... The building is completely full, so let's put on the show. Aguilera looking back post, finding Emilio Cisse, and a minute 38 in. Liberia thought they took the lead, but the goal has been disallowed. Offside is the call, so ultimately no harm, no foul, but we really need to clamp down because Liberia has come into this match ready to play. Ramirez in control, has three men around him. He's able to drop it to the safety of Duarte. Brand quickly spinning it up. Getch finds Cordero in behind the defense. He will rocket one past Ruiz. It's his sixth goal of the year, and Saprisa takes the one nil lead. Eugenio Cordero has been very good for us when he gets in there. We do have a little bit of a glut at striker between... Cordero, Lopez, and Vitan Tusha. In control, though, is Liberia. Jimenez pushing it forward. Munoz into the middle will be blocked. Comes to Camboreno, and his shot is going to be forced behind. Four shots on goal to just our one, but the one that we have is the one that counts and has given us the 1-0 leads. Tons of action in Liberia's favor in this first half. We're only 17 minutes in. Cruz will drop it back for Cortez as he ran out of room. Cut off by Cordero. Cruz looking back post. Munoz for Sicaria. Puts it past Hernandez. Will it count? I think so. The flag remains down. And Liberia able to equalize at one. This was a great cross by Cruz. Munoz gets up over Mora. Drops it to Sicaria who just got superior position on Innocenti, able to put it past the goalkeeper to tie this one up at one. And that is one of the tightest offsides I have seen in a very, very long time here at Football Manager. Another chance. Aguilera off of the set piece, looking for Jimenez. Finally, Cruz on the near post. Well, the near post to him, where the ball came, but it's not going to count. He was offside. Second goal called back. 39 minutes into this match. Can we take the lead? Fed through. Cordero gets past one man, chips the keeper off of his line, but just that little bit too strong. It goes out for a Liberia goal kick. Only our second shot on goal of this half. And at the end of 45 minutes plus added time, of course. It is Saprisa 1, Liberia 1. In preparation for the second half, making some minor tactical tweaks, we've dropped our passing directness down one notch. We've also taken off hit early crosses. We are going to have to make a change, though, as Jose Pablo Espinosa is going to come in for an injured Willem Getch. Hopefully, the injury itself isn't all that bad, and maybe Espinosa can bring a little something different to that right wing. We haven't really run the play down that side very often. Cordero playing it forward, but it will be picked off by Aguilera. Cortez for Liberia, up for Cruz, back for Aguilera in his own end. 
returns it to Cruz, who will move it to the interior. Knocked away by Ramirez, and here's Espinosa playing it into the middle. He's got Cordero. Does Cordero have a lane into the box? He does. He'll take the shot. But Ruiz up to the task, but a chance to take the lead early on in this second half. Just one minute in, Alejandro Brand delivers. It goes over everybody, and Pilati will be able to clear that from danger. Onto the near sideline, Cortez into the middle. Brand rubs his man out, but Cruz will pick up the ball, flipping it over everybody to Cambronero, but the flag is up. And for the third time in this match, a goal for Liberia will be called back. We are starting to show some gumption in this second half. As we have hit the hour mark in this match, ball headed forward. Cordero in control. Innocente will chip it to the far sideline. Tusha has to come back a little bit to retrieve it. Aquista back for Innocente. Tusha once more. A little bit deeper than we kind of want to see him. He is one of our best offensive players. Ramirez to Cordero, dropping it for Alejandro Brand, looking to move it forward and take advantage of some space. Brand into the box, chipped down by Pilati. Referee indicates the spot. It's going to be a penalty attempt and a chance for Saprisa to take the 2-1 lead. Cordero up and he delivers. It's Saprisa 2, Liberia 1. I realize I keep pronouncing the name of my opponent differently each and every time. Them's the breaks when you're trying to watch, commentate, and think all at the same time. I'm just a random guy. Don't expect too much from me. Nice ball through. Tusha with the shot. It'll clank off of the bar and go out behind for a goal kick. Less than 20 minutes remaining. We've got a slim one goal lead. And Liberia with the ball. Chipping it into the box. Cruz heading it on his first goal of the year. And that one will count. And after that goal, we're going to make a handful of changes. Randall Gomez will come in and replace Steven Aquista. Luis Mora. Not really impressing me in this one. Let's get a little bit more experience in there as Sam Bataro comes in and William Ramirez feeling a little bit knackered. We want fresh legs at that number 10 spot. So Edward Lopez is coming in. Hopefully these alterations will lead to success for Saprisa. Now, this is our first Costa Rican Cup experience. So at the end of regular time, is there extra time? Do we go straight to penalties? I don't know. If we don't find out, I want it to be because we have taken the lead in the last 10 minutes and not Liberia. But they are in control of the ball. Aguilera at the midfield stripe. Cambronero finds Cruz up the left wing edge of the box. Cordero gets in front of him, knocks it away. Bran plays it to Espinosa, who has tons of space through the midfield. Jose Pablo Espinosa still with it. In the middle. Cordero. Espinosa gets it back. Espinosa moving it left to Tusha. Tusha. Taking it deep in the middle, Espinosa, his shot is blocked. So Espinosa will try to play it back to Sam Bartaro. And uh, it's going to come free to Seguera as the counterattack is on for Liberia. Munoz out wide and Sam Bartaro able to tackle it off of his feet and out for a throw in. Nine, eight, your shots on goal. Both teams with three shots on target. And my question is being answered. We go. To extra time but we're going to lay into the team a little bit because we are at home and we are taking on a team that while on the upper portion of the table is technically inferior to us Lopez in control will drop it back for Gomez first touch that we have seen for him lays it to Espinosa along the edge of the box Gomez with a drive and a save made by Ruiz 14-11 shots on goal in favor of Saprisa as we get ready to start the second half of extra time. Do we make additional changes? It's our back line primarily that is feeling a bit knackered. Also, Vitan Tusha, a little bit tired. Gomez stealing it away. We, we are playing very well defensively. Ball fed forward. Cordero up. Ruiz off his line and Cordero flubs his. Gomez back to get it. Recycles it quickly up the left side. Alejandro Braun in control. Gomez chipping it back post Espinosa and he clatters it off of the crossbar and out. We have hit the woodwork twice in this match and it has cost us not nearly as much as Liberia with the <laughs> goals called back from offsides as regular time, extra time have expired. We are going to penalties. And it always seems to be the way when we're trying to cram an episode with 
as much action as possible, we get the extra long games. Cordero delivering the first salvo in the penalty. It's 1-0. Aguilera taking it for Liberia. He hits the post. Wait, that went in? It hit one post, hit the other post. They're saying it crossed the line. It's 1-1. Alejandro Brand, top corner. Segaria looking to even it up, and he does. Hernandez guessed correctly, but couldn't get there. Third kicker is going to be Sam Bataro. Our left back came in off of the bench, and he beats Ruiz. I think Ruiz thought he was going to go straight down the middle. Delgado with the opportunity to equalize for Liberia, and he does. And he went straight down the middle. Gomez, shooter number four for Saprisa with the right foot, gets Ruiz to guess incorrectly. It's 4-3. Arce. Oh, Hernandez. I thought he was going to get his hands on it, but Arce able to score. And it will come down to Lopez. The left footer dances up, shoots, and he drills it into the top right corner. Saprisa five, Liberia four. This could decide it as Hernandez takes his line. Rodriguez stepping up for Liberia, and Hernandez looked like he got his hand on it. So shooter number six, Hugo Cordero, beats Ruiz, 6-5 Saprisa. Another Rodriguez as the sixth shooter for Liberia. Hernandez dives the wrong way. We are still tied. Both teams perfect so far. Tusha, can he deliver? Oh, yes, he does. Cisse, who had a back post header, Called back for offside, powers it through, 7-7 in the shootout. Innocenti, stepping up against Ruiz, and Ruiz is up to the task, diving to his right, making the save. Fernandez is going to come in. What a head of hair on that gentleman. The eighth shooter for Liberia, and Hernandez is up to the task. We are still tied at 7 and now David Hernandez to be the shooter for us. And he beats his counterpart, Ruiz. Now it's Ruiz's turn. Can he beat Hernandez the way Hernandez beat him? Yeah. Still tied in round 10. Duarte steps up and bangs it home. 9-8, Saprisa. Munoz, same hair as the other guy. Shoots and scores. Jose Pablo Espinosa who came in off of the bench. He is able to chip one past Ruiz. 10-9 Saprisa. If Amud scores, the lineups roll over, and he does. 10-10. Here's Cordero. No doubt about it. This is going to be the longest video of the series I'm starting to feel. Aguilera, save made by Hernandez, and Saprisa moves on to the Costa Rica Cup Final. So a chance at another piece of hardware this season coming up later in the series against Punta Arenas. We managed seven shots on goal without hitting the target in the first half against Herediano in a sneak preview of the Continental Places playoff, but we finally broke through in the 62nd minute. Nice feed into the middle. Marrera turning, firing, and scoring. Then Alejandro Braun, a late addition off of the bench, delivering the corner. Nassim Innocente picking up his third goal. Impressive all around, even though we once again failed to hit the target as often as we should. But we dominated Herediano, just the one shot on target for them. A 0.07 XG for the opposition. I'm loving our chances. Now, because we're playing matches every two, three days, we completely rotated the squad against 10th place Sarchi. And... It was close defensively the whole time, but Lopez clanking it off of the leg of Garcia, credited with the own goal to go ahead 1-0 in the 88th minute, but in 90 plus 5, back post header from Mora, and that is where we will end up. We seeded the possession game to Sarchi. We outshot them again, only three shots on target after 12 total shots, and we had to rely on a defensive gaff. To actually get the go-ahead goal late in this match. Unfortunately, we ended up seeding the equalizer. 1-1 your final. I mean, look at the dates on these matches. Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. We're cramming them in.
A meeting with Gracie on the road would serve as a final tune-up before the Continental Places playoff against Herediano, and it did not look good early on. Backpost header by Tia Guinho put them up 1-0, and less than two minutes later, he carried it forward, sent it in the middle. Reyes' shot was saved, but it came right to Rojas, who put it into the empty net. 2-0 Gracia. But then Braun found Randy Duarte for his second goal of the year off of the corner. To get us back within one. Then Duarte forward. Marrera. Great first touch by Edward Lopez. Putting it home past Lingua to tie things up in the first half. After a wild sequence which saw us be denied multiple times. Off of the throw in. Ball fed into the middle. Marrera with his second of the game. Put us up 3-2. But then he handballed. And Tiaguino made us pay in the end. 3-3 your final score. We tried to throw the kitchen sink at them late on in the second half stoppage time, but we were unable to break through. 24-10, to 10, your shots on goal. Found the target 11 times, which is a nice improvement, but sadly, yet another draw. But even though we're not winning, nobody in the league has won more times than we have. In fact, our seven wins are tied only with Herediano. They have zero draws, however, and seven losses. We have six draws and just the single loss so we remain on the top of the table 27 points through 14 matches but we're setting the league aside as we are focusing our attention once more on the Central American Cup Conte getting the starting goal San Bataro going to get the start at left back because Herrera is starting over on the right hand side Hugo Cordero little bit of a knock he's recovering from did pass a fitness test but isn't quite ready to go he will start the match on the bench Innocente and Duarte will be our middle two again Freddy Gonzalez is unavailable. Aquista and Castro will pair up in the middle. Tusha and Getz on the wings. Marrera at the 10. And Lopez, once again, will be our striker for this one. Just hoping against all hope that the schedule, our match congestion issues, do not come to bite us in the butt. We haven't lost in a while. Herediano lost three before winning their last two matches. One of those losses, of course, came against us right here at our home field. It's a whole different kettle of fish, though. We are playing for continental glory and not just the opening stage of the Liga Primera or the Primera División. Perigini able to gain control, though, for Herediano. Look and move it forward. Stepping in front of that is Castro. Lopez dribbling it into the box. Gets past his man. Into the middle. Finds Marrera. And there is Diego Marrera's 10th goal of the year. It's 1-0. Saprisa. And that was absolutely what we needed to do. Get off to a quick start. Put Arediano back on their heels. Take control of this tie in the home leg. Because there are going to be a ton of league matches in between this and the leg on Herediano's pitch. We're probably going to be tired. We're probably going to be worn down. We may even pick up another injury or two between now and then because that's just what happens when you play so many matches. Herrera stepping in front of that. Marrero feeding it through. He's got Lopez and Edward Lopez picking up his ninth goal of the year to give Saprisa a 2-0 lead less than 20 minutes in. Man, oh man, we are being opportunistic in this match. And much like the last time we played Herediano in the league, not a single shot on goal for them in the first half. The difference being in this one, we have... Got our shots on goal, but we've also managed to hit the target, and we've hit the back of the net twice. Can we make it a third? Tusha in control at the edge of the final third. We'll drop it back for Steven Akista carrying it forward. We'll run into traffic. Makes a nifty move into the box, into the middle. Lopez, his shot is blocked, and Portas looking to go the other way. Sending it forward. Yara to Perigini. Out wide, and he will not be able to pick out Rafael Bleu. It's going to go out for a Saprisa throw. 32 minutes have been played in this match. Herrera with the corner kick. Can we make them pay? Innocent, they can't get his head on it. Castro, though, wins it over to Diego Marrera without a doubt. Goal number 11, 3 nil. I'm rubbing my hands together in excitement. We are playing so well. Once again with the ball, Tusha. Carrying it forward. Just two minutes have passed. He's dispossessed, but San Bataro gets it. Moves it into the middle. Will take a pretty weak shot from range. I think it may have been intended as a pass. Castro lining it up. He's got two, four, six, eight men in front of him. Getch. Lopez trying to pick out the top corner. And it's just going to agonizingly sail wide. Nine shots to nil. Four on target to nil. 
54% possession. But the most important stat is that 3-0 lead, which we look to take into the second half. No changes being made. Herediano finally picking up a shot on goal and a shot on target for a whopping 0.01 XG. I am all of a sudden not afraid of Herediano in the second leg. Ball played forward. Moreira chests it down, but Valverde will win it back. Taking over once again, though, is Saprisa. Dillam gets moving it into the middle of the pitch. We'll have it knocked away by Valverde, but there's Steven Aquista up for Tusha. Tusha with a long shot, and that one really didn't have much of a prayer. Moyano playing it forward. Yara. Back heel pass. Bilu. Yara. Shot. And Conte, what on earth? I don't think he was expecting that. Watching it again, Yara drops it for Bilu, who gets the pass back just inside the box. Conte has to do a better job there. So we will get our tired legs off of there. Tusha replaced by Ramon. Moreira by Ramirez. Andre, uh, Andre Castro by Alejandro Braun. Three changes in effect for Saprisa as we look to see this match out. But our three-goal lead has been trimmed down to two. In control, Braun. His pass is cut off by Moyano, and he'll look to send Arias the other way. Getting bodies forward, lays it off for Rovis. Up that left wing, in a bit of traffic, plays it back, Porus. Porus, dropping it to the midfield stripe, looking to reset. Azafefa, Valverde, Rovis. Into the middle, easily handled by Conte as that cross was wayward and it just sailed into the box. The goalkeeper, the only one in the vicinity. Conte sending it forward. He's got Ramirez. Drops it back for Lopez. The goalkeeper was off his line. Lopez trying to put one over and lob it in from about 30 yards out. And he was unsuccessful. We've got to be keep our heads, guys. Another ball lost. Alianov playing to Villa, Villa Lobos. Five minutes added on. We've played just about a minute and a half of that. So still plenty of time for Herediano to do something here. And we are just going to let him. Arias feeds Yara, moves it to his left, beats Conte, his sixth of the year. It's 3-2. The first goal, totally Conte's fault. The second goal, our defense just let them come back on the counterattack. And what started off as a massively impressive-looking win, three goals in the first 32 minutes, turned into the Michael Yara show in the second half. Herediano coming back into this tie. We only lead 3-2. Alawense won their last match to pull even on points, so we needed to win this one. A little cagey in the beginning, but it was worth it. What a blast from Steven Aquista. His first goal of the year. We managed to hit the target eight times out of our 13 shots. Absolutely dominated this match from start to finish, even though it was just a 1-0 scoreline. A very nice win against the team we take on in the cup final in Punta Arenas. We would be a bit more dominant in our final tune-up match on the road against Sporting. Willem Getch was absolutely playing out of his mind in the first 15 minutes or so, rewarded with an assist on Edward Lopez's 10th goal of the year. Lopez would get another one. Beautiful touch. Great drive from just outside of the box, beating Nieto to give Saprisa a 2-0 lead. We would make it three. Bran Espinosa playing right back, looking back post, finds William Ramirez for his fourth of the year. Sporting would get one back. It was a goal of the season candidate from Joshua Navarro, turning, firing, hitting it off the bar and in. 3-1 your score, back-to-back -back victories as we head into the second leg against Herediano. Hoping against hope that fatigue is not going to do us in. We lead 3-2 on aggregate, heading on the road to Herediano. This is our third match in five games, but we have the best 11 out there that we can have. It's Conte, Herrera, Innocente, Duarte, and Cordero with Castro and Aquista in the midfield. Up front, Tusha, Morera, Getz, and Edward Lopez. We haven't lost since the first leg against Olympia that knocked us into this round. Olympia did knock off Cartagena in the regular competition. We've won three in a row. Ton of draws in there, 
But we have not yet lost. We need to hang on, at least pick up a draw at Herediano tonight. If we get through this tie and knock off Herediano, we have guaranteed ourselves a spot in the CONCACAF Champions Cup for this season. Off of the opening kickoff, Herediano will control Azofefa. Holding it up, Moyano finds Puras. Pressure being put on him. We are playing our normal game. We haven't changed anything tactically. We haven't been pressing. We're not parking the bus. We are going all out, looking for a victory in this match. Akista stepping in front of that pass, carrying it forward toward the edge of the box, and he slots one home past Chamorro, his second goal of the year. It's a Prisa one, Herediano nil. How is that for a beginning? 49 seconds into the match, Steven Akista coming up huge again for the second time in the last three games, and we now lead on aggregate 4-2. to two. However, we cannot rest on our laurels. We have to keep playing our game. Final third throw in. Getz will give it back to Hugo Cordera. Akista, edge of the box. Getz has it. Moves it to his left. Still with it. Getz turns, fires, and misses. But it is a semi-decent indication of how things are going. Back post save made, but it pops right to Yuri Keefe as a FIFA. The center pack with his first goal of the year will tie things up on the night. Herediano won. Saprisa won. We do maintain our one goal lead on aggregate, but now we have some work to do in the final 30 minutes or so of this match as the hour mark comes. Herediano leading us in shots on goal with nine. Make that 10. Shots on target with six. They're winning the XG battle. They're winning the possession battle. We just need to find a way to hold on and win the game. So we are going to go a little bit more defensive. Ramon's going to come in for Tusha. Getz will be replaced by Espinoza, who is a fantastic defensive player. In fact, he is so good defensively, he's going to replace Hugo Cordero as the right back, which means Marvin Alfaro is going to come in on the left-hand side. Diego Moreira, I love him, but he's tired. So William Ramirez will come in. A quadruple change in the final 15 minutes of this match. We just need to see things out. I'm okay with a draw on the night as long as we win on aggregate. And if we don't see another highlight for the rest of the match, football manager, I will be okay. We're in stoppage time. Five minutes added on. So far, Herediano unable to break through. The full-time whistle is going to sound. And Saprisa by virtue of a 4-3 aggregate lead, we're going to take the tie against Herediano. They did put up a brave fight, but ultimately, we came out on top. And as expected, we have officially qualified for the CONCACAF Champions Cup for another year. But no rest for the weary. Only two days of rest before we take on Ala Hulense in the opening stage of the Primera División. Only six matches remain in the opening stage. So we are going to wrap things up and bring you the Copa de Costa Rica final as well in tomorrow's episode. If you like the episode, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. If you're brand new, welcome in. I hope you enjoyed your stay and I'll see everybody back here tomorrow. Until then, bye bar.